Company. Jim Brown may be at the last Cleveland Browns game in history. Mark Brunel focused. First quarter, Jags up 3-0. Brunel up top. Willie Jackson uh, touchdown. Jackson builds up 10-0. Belichick not happy about any of this. But Cleveland answers. Second quarter, fourth down at the 40. Tester pretty goes deep for Michael. <laughs> Jackson, seven catches, 130 yards, and that touchdown. Now we go, Tommy, to quarter number four. Yeah, first play of the fourth quarter. Vinny Testaverde looking for Ernest Biner here. Gets back in the pocket, has a nice pocket around him. Throws the ball short, picked off by Harry Colon at the Browns' 30-yard line. And then Mark Grinnell, and we've been impressed with his ability to scramble and move out of the pocket here, running to his right, has the ball in his left hand, gets it tucked away. Look at the speed downfield. Powerful guy for a quarterback. Jacksonville goes for two. Brunel going to go for Desmond Howard. Deflected right to Willie Jackson. Thank you very much. Jacksonville up 21-14. Two minutes left. Could Testa Verde lead Cleveland back? 145 left. Vinny hits Keenan McCardle. Inside the 15-yard line, you see the clock. Two plays later, Vinny. <laughs> Touchdown. Browns tie it up. 21 apiece. 16 seconds to go. Jackson throw 45. Brunel looks deep for Howard. But Tim Jacobs... Flag for pass interference. Oh, boy. Seven seconds to go. We're tied. 39-yarder. Mike Hollis for the win. And uh, out. Doink. Hold on. Offsides on Cleveland. Do it over from 34 yards out for the win. Hollis up. Last play of the game. Good. Oh, boy. Jacksonville with a second chance. Wins it 24-21. The Browns' nightmarish season. And